Hi, I'm excited to demonstrate secure federated learning using SCONE and Intel OpenFL. The goal of our work is to provide a platform that allows multiple parties who do not necessarily share their confidential and valuable data can still come together to perform machine learning over the data to unlock all benefits of AI. For example, hospital can collaborate to train models to detect disease at early stage without revealing their patient record data. First, take a look at the architecture of federated learning. For example, we have several hospitals here. Uh, I call them collaborators. So in each training iteration, a collaborator for each hospital will train over their own data locally and only transfers the parameter training model to the model aggregator. And the model aggregator, we aggregate all of the model from collaborators and send back the global parameter to each collaborator. To protect the aggregation process, we perform in untracted environments such as a cloud and to make sure that collaborators we not collude with each other to change the output model in the way they want. We run the training and the aggregation process inside at Intel Exec Enclave with the help of SCONE. And SCONE will ensure the integrity and confidentiality of the training and the aggregation processes. And all communication between components are performed with the TOS connection. Common and coordinate the cooperation between party or collaborators. We build skill policy manager. The skill policy manager which maintains the security policy created by collaborator to define the access control over their intellectual property. For example, input data, training code, Python code, and machine learning model. It will perform the adaptation at all components of the federated learning. Collaborator can also attest security policy manager before submit their security policy to ensure that it runs the expected unmodified code of the security policy manager. Now take a look at our demo. So I already prepared a scone OpenML image. So we just can run the uh, Docker image by creating a Docker container. And inside this Docker container, uh, we have a demo code called test.bat5. And I we explain a bit about the code. So as usual, it imports the library, TensorFlow library for the training, and then it import the OpenFL library. And first function with that is the TensorFlow is run with Intel optimization. And the second, it will define the workspace for the federated learning. And we define some parameter like ratio of the validation image. So in this demo, we're training the image, image is uh, handwriting disease uh, classification. And it will define the training image, uh, the label as the user, and perform normalization, and define number of class. So have 10 disease, it means have 10 classes. And then it defines the federated training data and defines the batch size 32, as you can see here. And then it will define the uh, uh, training model or the deep learning model. And then we define the federated learning model by calling class federated model. And we define the number of model. So we have like in this demo we have like three collaborators, one, two, and three. And then we show some of the uh, uh, MNIST datasets. 
from the collaborator one, two, and three. And finally, we uh, bring out the uh, training plan in the federated learning. And then we run the federated learning with the five iterations. And finally, we uh, save out the model uh, that collaborate between the three collaborators, let's say three hospitals. And then we perform the testing the model that we get. So let's run it. So here I run with the exact machine and you can see some warning or some log from scope. Uh, this is a uh, blend, training blend, and you can see the uh, it's sending the uh, parameter between collaborator and aggregator here. And it performs the uh, route 3, route 4, and route 5, we finish the, the training. And then we perform the testing, and you, as you can see, the accuracy of the model with the testing data sets is uh, 0 0.95. Thanks for watching.